Hey guys, it's Jacqueline here. So today I'm back with another Salvation Army haul and um, when I thought that the sales couldn't get better, I was totally wrong. Last time or the first time I did this, I did a $2 thrift haul. This time it was a $1 thrift haul. So um, there was a sale for $1 for all blazers, dresses, and skirts. Um, but this video is just going to be on all the blazers that I got. And I'm just going to make this quick and um, see how long it can take me to go through 15 blazers that I got. So um, that's pretty much my haul. I got 15 blazers for $15 and I'm just going to go on briefly describing the item and then trying them on for you so you can get a better look of what it looks like on and um, like usual I'm just going to go and tell you some things that I want to change about it or that I've already actually changed about it um, and maybe I can do another video later on with all the finalized changes so let's just get started and I hope you guys enjoy Okay, so I literally took these all just out of my closet right now, so as you'll be able to tell, it kind of goes from light colors to darker colors. Um, so yeah, so the first blazer slash jacket that I got is this very, very nice cream color, um, kind of draped, um, <clears throat> I don't know if you want to call this a jacket or a sweater, but they termed it as a blazer, so it looks really nice, and it'll look so, so nice with a nice big belt here. I actually don't have a big belt to show you on right now but um, on the store I tried it on with the belt and it looked really nice and I just love this clean color. Um, it's so, it's very clean. It's like almost unblemished. Um, um, this just looks really nice for a classy kind of look. The next one is a pink blazer that I got. It's this um, Tweedish material and it's pink and white and um, this is actually actually by the brand called Tristan and I think this is Eyes Eyesuit um, in which I know is a really good and professional brand they carry a lot of blazers and jackets and um, this is very nice it, it is um, a smaller size it's size small so um, it is quite fitted and it has a tie here which I've just tied at the back. Um, I didn't like that the tie was so low to the bottom, so it didn't look too good to have it tie so low in the jacket, um, but um, I'm just gonna keep it as a tie at the back for now. So this is the pink one. I actually got another pink one, and this is actually by the same brand, but it's a bright pink one. So it's just this bright pink. It's like not even coming up because it's so bright in the camera but I actually went and changed the buttons already because they had bright pink buttons but um, I wanted to change it to a nice dark chocolate brown because I love um, brown and pink together so um, if you can see these buttons have like a bow on it and I thought that was just really cute so I sewed that on already um, the colors are not coming out um, very nicely on the camera but um, it's pretty nice and I've just folded in the sleeves here because it is a bit um, too big and too long for me. Uh, now going into the lighter grays I got this uh, light gray uh, striped blazer and this looks more like a um, kind of like a, a kind of and it kind of reminds me of like a groomsman kind of um, color slash pattern so if you can see it um, is striped um, very nice silvery um, gray color and um, the inner lining is kind of like a silvery polyester color and um, I've changed the buttons on this as well these the buttons I was originally on here kind of looked like a light gray cheap color to me so I bought some nice silver um, hardware button and I think it really nicely complements the lighter silvers of the jacket so and I like this because the pocket has this very nice silk lining in here and um, I just think that this looks like a very classy blazer it'll be very nice um, on top of black and um, any darker colors because the silver will definitely give a great pop of a lighter hue to your outfit and um, this other gray blazer kind of reminds me of like a tuxedo jacket for men and I just I love men inspired um, fashion so um, this was definitely up my alley um, it has kind of like this fake collar pattern right here and this is not like a it's a mesh material not lace but it's mesh if you can see so the color here is coming out as kind of a light purple but it's actually um gray and so it's a gray color um blazer with some 
kind of the mesh detail along the collar and the pockets, um, which I think is very nice. And the next one is this darker purple, this darker purple um, blazer. And it's a very, very thick, elastic -y material. And um, here, I like how there is this pattern um, cut out in the blazer. And this kind of gives you more of a um, silhouette because it cuts out where um, your hips should be. So it looks very nice and it shapes your body very nicely. So the next one is this, um, this uh, plaid and um, wool material blazer and it's actually very very big so I'm going to have to take this in but the reason why I particularly like this one is because of the white and black um, color but also because I loved the, the buttons if you can see these gold buttons are very large and very nice um, detail to it if you can see it's a, it's a size 10 so I'm going to have to make it smaller, but a good trick that I do have to usually make um, larger blazers smaller is to fold up the sleeves because it definitely makes um, it look a lot um, more fitted and tight when you do that. So if you have a larger blazer that you don't have time to fix right away, just fold up the sleeves and wear a tighter top underneath and you're good to go. Okay, so the next one, I thought that it would be so perfect for like a holiday blazer because of the colors and the pattern. So this is another Tristan blazer and um, it's this plaid um, green and red um, pattern and I think some of you might think it looks kind of repulsive but I actually think it's so super cute. I've actually been looking for kind of this um, tartan patterned uh, blazer. I think it'll be really nice just on like a plain outfit underneath just all black underneath and it'll be um, really cute. So, okay, so the next one is a similar kind of pattern. It's this green, um, green pattern, um, a green <laughs> plaid material and pattern to it and it's like a nice wool material and I really like green and kind of goldish and yellow colors together so that's why I love this and the buttons of course are really beautiful you can see this one is quite a bit larger as well these originally had some um, shoulder pads to it but I've cut them out already so I'm going to probably have to make either the torso or the arms smaller to this as well but for now I think it's just an, oh, a nice oversized jacket okay so this next one is this tweed green jacket and um, this is originally from Zara actually the one thing I do not, I absolutely hate about this is these big flowers that they put on here. It just looks really, it just does not look clean and the flowers are like drooping down so they don't even sit right. So I'm definitely going to have to take that off. But um, other than that, it fits pretty nice. It's cute and I think that this, out, this color could go well again with black or dark gray. Okay, so now getting into a little bit of the darker colors. Here's the first black blazer and the reason why I liked this blazer is because it was just very clean cut if you can see here um, I like how the blazer is like a V shape here and um, the bottom of it is just nice clean cut this has shoulder pads as well so I'm going to have to take that out um, but other than that it's just a plain blazer and I kind of sometimes like pockets that just don't have the flap to it and it just has the slit here and um, again it kind of gives it more of the clean cut look. Um, so here is the next blazer. I'm getting a little bit tired. I hope you guys are not getting bored watching this. I'm trying to go as fast as I can through these. Um, but here is a light gray pinstripe blazer and um, this is by this brand. Never heard of it before but um, it's pretty nice and it's just a good staple piece because having gray and just different shades of gray and pinstripe in your um, wardrobe for more professional events is always good to have. Um, next one is a black pinstripe blazer which again I think is very nice to have in your wardrobe um, for more professional events and, and this would just look nice on top of black dress pants but this is from the brand Tristan as well so as you can see I found some really great quality ones um, in my batch. So I'm happy about that. Um, so it's just plain black and pinstripe. Okay, the next one is a black and um, red 
nice, very nice material. If you could feel this, I have no idea what this material is, but it feels like it's just very soft and um, it just drapes really nicely um, because there's not very much structure to this blazer and um, I like that because it gives more of a casual vibe. So I like this black and red and the buttons again match it with um, some gold and red on it. I think this is quite nice and um, I would definitely roll up these sleeves because they're a little bit longer and um, because there's already red and color into this, into this um, blazer I would just wear plain black um, underneath this. Okay, the last blazer, finally, it's this navy blue um, nice structured blazer, kind of similar to that plain black one that I showed earlier, but the reason why I like this one again is because of the way um, it's cut. It's just very clean looking. And of course the button, this huge button is super cute and um, very looks very Chanel-esque. This is quite larger, I'll definitely have to um, take this in before um, I wear this to a more professional event. These also have huge shoulder pads in them, so I'll have to definitely take that out before I wear it out. But yes, this is the last blazer, and as you can see, my closet has doubled with the amount of blazers I have. Blazers are just a very nice staple piece. It can make any outfit look so much more put together, and like you put so much more time and thought into your outfit. So um, if you guys don't have blazers, definitely go and try to invest in one or two that are very... Um, a generic color that you can wear with many outfits because like I said um, it really puts that extra chic and professional vibe into your outfit. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments below which blazer you liked the best and um, try putting an outfit together for me. Let me know what you would wear with one of these blazers and uh, maybe I can try it out. And um, that's about it so thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thumbs up if you liked these 15 blazers in one video and um, if you think it's cool that I wear pajama pants with um, dress shirts. Bye guys!